Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today is the fifth Sunday of Lent. We ask the Lord now we put place ourselves at the foot of the cross in all humility, and we ask God for pardon and strength, hoping that He would deem us worthy to be able to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts yeah. and in my words, in, in what, what I have done and in, and in what, what I have failed to do, through, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. By your help, we beseech you, Lord our God. May we walk eagerly in the same charity with which, out of love for the world, your Son handed himself over to death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The days are coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. I will not be like the covenant I made with their fathers the day I took them by the hand to lead them forth from the land of Egypt, for they broke my covenant. And I had to show myself their masters, says the Lord. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will place my law within them and write it upon their hearts. I will be their God and they shall be my people. No longer will they have need to teach their friends and relatives how to know Lord. All from the least to greatest shall know me, says the Lord, for I will forgive their evil doing and remember their sin no more. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm, Create a clean heart in me, O God. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin, cleanse me. Create a clean heart in me, O God. A clean heart create for me, O God, and its steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Give me back the joy of your salvation and a willing spirit sustain in me. I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall return to you. Create a clean heart in me, O God. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. In the days when Christ Jesus was in the flesh, he offered prayers and supplications with a loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverence. Son though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered and what he was made perfect. He became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Greeks who had come to worship at the Passover feast came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and asked him, Sir, we would like to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew, and Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it. And whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. I am troubled now, yet what would you say? Father, save me from this hour. But it was for this purpose that I came for this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it and will glorify it again. The crowd there heard it and said it was a thunder. But others said, an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered and said, This voice did not come for my sake but for yours. Now is the time of judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw everyone to myself. 
He said this indicating the kind of death he would die. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, I say to you. Unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Many years ago, my dear brothers and sisters, there was a story about a woman whose name was Catherine Marshall. She was very sick. And she stayed in her bed for six months, hindi po makatayo ng kama due to a very serious lung disease, disease and infection. So she was praying non-stop. She was medicated so much, but nothing happened. Wala nangyari. And because of that, she became very depressed. And then one day, there was one person uh, who handed out a pamphlet, parang brochure. Dun sa brochure, uh, in the pamphlet, there was a story about a missionary who contracted a mysterious disease. So binabasa ni Catherine Marshall. And she said that she could not forget this story. <clears throat> this mis missionary, isang missionero, she was sick for eight years. And because she was a missionary, she could not understand that she was sick, having a strange disease that no one could identify. And she was angry, a little bit angry at the Lord because she was serving all of her life, pero she contracted a very mysterious disease. One day, at the point of giving up, sumigaw po siya sa Panginoon. All right, all right, I give up. If you want me to be an invalid, that's your business. Suko na po ako kung gusto niyo po akong maging imbalido. Nasa sa inyo na po iyon. Alam ninyo, after two weeks that she said that prayer, this is the missionary, after two weeks that she decided it was not her life to live but the Lord's, she became fully recovered after two weeks. After saying that, suko na po ako. This is why Catherine Marshall, who was reading this pamphlet, she could not forget this story. Then one day, after quite some time, napaisip si Catherine. The missionary came to her mind. So, ang ginawa niya, she also cried out to the Lord. Sabi niya, Lord, I'm tired. I'm tired of asking you to help me become healthy again. You decide if you want me to be sick or healthy. Ito ang prayer ni Catherine Marshall. You decide if you want me to be sick or healthy. And you know what, brothers and sisters? That day, she began to slowly recover. These stories, they show, they illustrate what Jesus is talking about in the gospel today. They show us that unless a grain of wheat falls down and dies, it cannot bear fruit. The story shows us unless we die to our own will, we cannot bear fruit for God. So we have to die first to our own will. Kung hindi sila namatay sa kanilang sarili, it's possible na may sakit pa din sila. But instead, 
they surrender their will in favor of God's will. See what happened to them. Even Jesus, in the Garden of Gethsemane, during His agony, He surrendered His will. He surrendered. Anong sabi ni Jesus? Not my will, but yours be done. All of these stories, yung kay Catherine, the missionaries, Jesus in Gethsemane, they all teach us the same lesson. They teach us that we must be willing to die of our own will if we wish to bear fruit for God. Bearing fruit for God, mind you, not bearing fruit for yourselves. To bear fruit for God. They teach us to trust God and to put ourselves, our all, into His hands if we want to receive eternal life. In our daily lives, brothers and sisters, what does this all mean for us? Suppose you're a very private person and you need outside help, which is not exactly possible because mataas ang iyong pride. Malalaman nila na you need help. Dying to your will means dying to your pride and asking for help. Suppose that a close friend of ours tells us na meron tayong mali na nagawa, but we deny it and say, no, it is only right that I did that. Dying to our will means admitting our mistake and asking for forgiveness. Dying to our will means forgiving others at the cost of your pride, at the cost of not trying to get back anymore at that person. Dying to our will means sacrificing time spent on our phones and instead investing it in helping out others or in serving the Lord or going to church to pray. Dying to our will is not easy. Matagal po nag-suffer si Catherine and the missionary. Matagal din po. Even Jesus, He did not find this easy. You remember, the agony in the garden. Pero lahat sila, they trusted God and put themselves into God's hands. They died to themselves and as a result, they bore fruit. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news today from the gospel, what's the good news? It is that we can do the same. We can die to ourselves. We can trust God and put all of our lives into His hands. Yes, we will struggle. Yes, it will be hard. But who says life is all sunshine and rainbows and butterflies? Life will not be handed to us on a silver platter. The important thing is to put our lives in God's hands and trust Him completely. See for yourselves, my dear brothers and sisters, once you've done that, see for yourselves how you will bloom and bear fruit for Christ. God bless us all. Let us all stand and let us now profess our faith. I believe in God. The Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, 
the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Gathered together to celebrate Christ's love unto death for all of us, let us submit to Him the needs and intentions of all mankind. For every prayer we say, Lord Jesus, hear us. Lord Jesus, hear us. For all the members of the Church scattered throughout the world, may they be credible witnesses of the Father's love for every human being. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, hear us. For the Holy Father, our Bishop and parish priest, may they bravely persevere Even in the face of disappointments and difficulties of all sorts, let us pray. Lord Jesus, hear us. For those who are undergoing persecution for the sake of kingdom, may they remain faithful to their commitment to what is right and just. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, hear us. For social workers and all those involved in public service, may they feel the support of the rest of the community in their efforts to form a better society. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, hear us. For those among us who are discouraged or afflicted in whatever way, may they unite their sufferings to those of our crucified Lord. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, hear us that all those who risk their lives for the gospel in various parts of the world may inflame the church with their courage and missionary enthusiasm. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, hear us. Lord Jesus, grant us the strength and the faith that we need to endure all trials in union with you till the end of our lives. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. For your offerings in the envelope, you may drop them at the collection baskets. all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Hear us, Almighty God, and having instilled in your servants the teachings of the Christian faith, Graciously purify them by the working of this sacrifice. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as true man, he wept for Lazarus' his friend, and as eternal God raised him from the tomb. Just as taking pity on the human race, he leads us by sacred mysteries to new life. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty, 
and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, the sun in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name. Those who are unable to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Gilbert our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. unable to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to share in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not, not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word and, and my soul shall be healed.
second collection which will be done is for the continuing development of the parish and national shrine of Saint Padre Pio and for the needs and welfare of the sick and retired priests of the Archdiocese of Lipa. Thank you for your offering. Yang dulu pilih 
Dios mula all stand let us pray we pray almighty God that we may always be counted among the members of Christ in whose body and blood we have communion who lives and reigns forever and ever amen prayer for intercession to Saint Padre Pio all together Padre Pio, holy monk from Pietralcina, outstanding saint of the present era, our bright beacon on this earthly pilgrimage, our sanctuary in times of trouble, holy exemplar of great courage, with you our needs do we confide, as well as our livelihood, our health, and our might. Unworthy as we are, we, we pray, pray that you concede, concede bless, bless and grace us, us that our lives may be fulfilled. From, from sin, sin may we abstain, in God may we remain. We also beseech thee, servant of the Most Holy, to instruct us in the Gospel, that we may reflect and believe. Our requests are before thee, our hearts repent, resolving earnestly to not sin again, to always follow God the Father, together with the Spirit and Jesus the Mediator. Amen. Please be seated. Ilan lamang pong mga paalaala, una sa inyong pagbisita sa Pambansang Dambana, mangyaring pakaingatan ng inyong mga personal naghamit, hangad namin ang isang matiwasay, at maayos na pagbisita sa National Shrine. Ikalawa, sa paligid po ng ating simbahan, may makikita kayong mga QR code. Ito po ay para sa ating uh, program para sa Pilgrims Information Record. Pakiscan po ng QR code at pakisupply ng mga kinakailangang detalye. Asahan po ninyo na aming pangangalagaan ng mga private information Ayon na rin sa batas ng Republic Act ng Data Privacy ng 2012. Ang gawain pong ito ay malaking tulong sa ating ginagawang pagbubuo ng dokumentasyon at mga datos para sa ating turismong pansimbahan. Pakisuportahan po tayo sa ganitong gawain. Tayo po bilang isa sa mga Archdiocesan Centers for Reconciliation, at bahagi ng gawain ngayong mga mahal na araw ay nag-aanyaya sa inyo na mangumpisal. Nasa screen po ang ating schedule ng confessions. At tuwing biyernes ngayong panahon ng kwaresma, tayo ay may pagdarasal ng daan ng krus. Ang aklat dasalan po ay available sa ating tindahan. Ito ay sa ikatlo lagi ng hapon ng araw ng biyernes. Sa paligid po ng ating simbahan, may makikita na kayong mga tarpaulin ng ating schedule para sa Holy Week. Ito po'y makikita rin yung ipopost sa ating FB page na wapo'y magabayan tayo ng mga gawain ngayong mga darating na mahal na araw. At sa ngalan po ni Father Oka, ang ating kura parokotrektor, muli nating gustong pasalamatan ang nanguna sa ating pastoral at staff Lenten Recollection at nanguna rin sa ating pagdiriwang ng banal na misa, si Reverend Father Genrod Hadrian Carion. Salamat po, Father, sa pagpapaunlak sa imbitasyon na pangunahan sa pagninilay ang aming mga tagapaglingkod. Maraming salamat sa inyo. Ang ating sunod na gawain ay mamayang alas 8, mayroong banal na oras. Kayo po'y inaanyayahan. Inaasahan namin inyong pananatilihin ng kalinisan, katahimikan at diwa ng pananalangin sa loob at labas ng ating simbahan. We all stand for the blessing of the religious articles. 
Mga kapatid, manalangin tayo sa Diyos, amang makapangyarihan, upang tayo ay maging kawangis ni Kristo sa taimtim na pagdalangin sa tulong ng mga larawan at mga dasalan. O Panginoong Diyos, Ikaw ang bukal ng lahat ng pagpapala at biyaya. Ibuhos mo ang iyong bendisyon. Sa mga gamit na ito sa pananalangin, mga rosaryo, imahen, dasalan, na nagpapaalaala ng iyong kabutihan, kabanalan at pagmamahal sa amin, upang ang lahat na dumulog at magdasal, gamit ang mga ito, ay magtamo ng iyong awa at biyaya. Loobin mong tularan nila ang kabanalan at aral ng Panginoon at ng mga santo magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Though your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Sarili <laughs>